Okay. Oops. Made it? Yes, we did. We're at the overworld. All right. Ah, son of a bitch. Instant fight. A rhino tour. It looks tough. I'm gonna use fire. Oh god. That was a bad choice. Oh! Alright, so. Do not use magic on the Rhino Tour, or he will use Mega Volt and kill you instantly. Alrighty then. South Figaro. Probably right there, but I got attacked again. Rodox. So already we've got... <laughs> we've only been playing the game for, what, an hour? Already we've got our first duplicate enemy. He's a fucking grease monk instead of a, a repo man. Nicely done. Here it is. The town of South Figaro. Oh, yes. Received a tonic. Watch this. Received green cherry. This town has quite a lot of hidden items. If I can remember where they all are... I can't go that way. I think you go this way. But anyway, the first place I'm going... Yep, soft. first place I'm going is the Relic Shop. Cause I'm tired of walking so goddamn slow. I'm gonna fix that right now. Look at this shithead. Equip relics get a variety of abilities. These double my walking speed. Watch this. See? That's what we're about to get. Oh, this kid. Relics will give your party members a variety of example uh, of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double your speed. True knight lets you shield others during battle. Dragon Boots add the jump command to your battle list. Gauntlet allows you to hold a sword with both hands. Use the main menu to equip up to two relics per person. I'm really getting a pair of sprint shoes. You know what? I might as well get another pair because later on in the game you need more than one. Um, protects against dark and petrify. Protects against poison. Protects against dark. These all suck. So I'm just getting the sprint shoes, that's it. Now watch this. Much faster, much better. I'm trying to remember if there's anything up here, I don't think there is. I'll probably sleep at the end and get my health back. Look at this guy in bed. Watch this. Wake up! The Empire Tech Figaro Castle? I will all be drawn into the battle. Why, why is he talking to me in bed? Why isn't he pissed that I just fucking woke him up? <laughs> Alright, might as well stay, get all my stuff back. HP and MP. Then we'll investigate this town. Bring. <laughs> Bring, bong, 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 bong. Uh-oh, we're at the inn. Well, actually, we're at the cafe, the bar, and they're playing that music for a reason, as you'll see soon. Duncan students have no peers. The guy at the counter, it's kind of creepy. The Empire's been invading one town after the next. We're not safe here. Duncan made his son Vargas practice a strict martial arts lifestyle. Vargas resented it. Are kids allowed in here? What do you think? Oh, all right. <laughs> she fucking sat down. Look at this guy. It's quiet. At the very least, you can give me a response. Stand back. He seems vaguely familiar. Wait a minute. He owes allegiance to no one and will do anything for money. He comes and goes like the wind. That's right. He's Shadow. The Ninja Shadow. Who 
kind of looks like Snake Eyes from uh, G.I. Joe. That shadow! He slit his mama's throat for a nickel! Better steer clear of him, I guess. Leave us. The dog eats strangers. <laughs> He's a dick! The dog eats strangers. Out of the way, I gotta get the cider over to the old man. That's my job. Now scram. <laughs> he brings cider to an old man. Eh, these were back in the days when the economy was booming. And people could get jobs doing pretty much anything. Good luck trying to be a cider carrier in this economy. Alright, so that was quite riveting, wasn't it? And you can see he goes and carries the cider off like an asshole. Alright, so. Beyond Mount Colts, you'll find the Sable Mountain Range. Eye drop, antidote, getting items from everything. I think there's a ship down here. The ship isn't going anywhere. That's nice to know. If the ship's not going anywhere, why the fuck are you standing on it? <laughs> we just stand around on a ship that's fucking port or docked at the port and don't we don't do anything on it. Nope. Alright, we got the Chocobo stables. At this house, this house has a secret if I can remember it. Because we're really begun it, I better return home. I wonder if you can do that. There's a secret passage in this house. I wonder if you can go in it right now. I don't know if you can do it this early in the game. Attack from the east, that way. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Barge in here while I'm trying to write a letter. Harumph! Oh, sorry, even a millionaire can be startled. I think this is it. Aha! The secret staircase. Save point. Uh -huh. The clock is ticking. I found a thousand gold pieces. Fifteen hundred gold pieces. Empty. Haha, <laughs> you dicks. Old clock, it's not ticking. Alright, so that's it for now. This is a secret area for later, but if you know about it now, you can actually do it now, which is why I did it. Get that extra money. I don't think I have anything to spend it on right now anyway, though. Chung 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 Magitek Armor. My dad is very important. Why? Not so long ago he even dined with General Leo. I uh, I just made that up. <laughs> oh, I got a Phoenix down to replace the one I lost. Look at this, found another secret area. It's like an elixir. Alright. I really didn't need to do any of that right now, but it's easier to do it now than later. Later on, you're doing other stuff in this town and you don't want to have to waste your time. Got a tonic. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Looks like a mithril knife will go up. Oh, actually, here you go. Mithril blades would 
up both of their attacks. Regal Cutlass. He can only use the Mithril Blade. Oh, get two Regal Cutlasses. Alright, I'll put the Armor Shot. He could use... They could all use a Heavy Shield. Should use the Hairband? Eh, Plume Tat's probably better. Now let's optimize our equipment. There we go. Very nice. We've been optimized. <laughs>